There are many types of trees, all sorts of shapes and sizes and shades of color. But one of my favorites is the olive tree. Spreading roots extend around every olive tree in order to absorb sufficient moisture in the dry conditions in which they normally grow. This is why they usually planted several meters apart so that each tree could receive enough space and light. These are the best conditions for bearing fruit, space and light. And it's precisely this elaborate root system that allows the olive tree to tolerate drought so well. The olive tree is very tough and it can survive the harsher circumstances and it can live incredibly long, if well pruned, even thousands of years. The olive is often mentioned in the Bible and one of those places is Psalm 52, 8. And David says he's like a green olive tree in the house of God. It's almost as though he's saying he's prosperous, he's flourishing and blossoming in God's presence. As verse 8 continues, David says that he trusts in God's chesed, God's unfailing love, his mercy, his kindness and devotion. And some have described chesed as an act that has no cause. It's proactive, it takes action. In other words, the way God loves us doesn't depend on how much we love him, how devoted we are to him, how much time we spend with him. He loves us because that is who he is. He's loving, kind, and loyal to us, regardless of how we are. It's precisely this that gives David the strength and encouragement he needs, knowing God will never fail him, ever. Imagine you're a tree. What kind of tree are you? Where are you planted? Are you near God, or a little further away? What kind of landscape surrounds you? Do you have enough space and light? Perhaps you had a tough time and you had a friend who offered to help. Maybe the friend couldn't help in that particular situation, but it still meant a lot to you just knowing that the help was there. How do you feel about the fact that God loves you even if you're not sure you love him too? Perhaps God is like that friend, always there and you know you can count on him, but he's the perfect gentleman and will never force his way closer to you. space and light. I leave you with a challenge to figure out how much space and light you have in your life, how much you need of both, and then go and blossom.